Well, Rick and Vicki, one local doctor is using stem cells from nasal passages to help rebuild Dan's spinal cord tissue. His results have the world looking back to the future. It is terribly exciting. We do research all our lives. And after 10 years of it, Dr. Fred Roizen's research on stem cells has paid off in a monumental way. What really is the importance of a stem cell? The importance is that you can take a cell and use it to replace damaged cells in the human body. And Dr. Roizen isn't using the more erratic and ethically controversial embryonic stem cells to heal damaged tissue. He's using the more stable adult stem cells to help heal spinal cord injuries. And he's getting the stem cells from an unlikely place, the nose. You'll see we're going right up to this little tubidate here, and we're going to take a little tiny piece of tissue about the size of a pinhead. Dr. Royce's study has shown in the laboratory these adult stem cells can morph into neurons that help heal the break in damaged spinal tissue that is responsible for carrying electrical signals to the nervous system. So there's an injury. There's a gap in the rat's spinal cord. They fill the gap. They pump out the growth factors, and they elongate, and they literally make a bridge across the, the break. He showed this by using rats that had a spinal defect. Take a look at this video. You can see the rat's right front paw is paralyzed because of a spinal injury. The paw is not being used. But take a look at the same rat 11 weeks later, after getting the adult stem cells injected into the damaged tissue. The recovery of the paw is within 80 to 95%. Now, Dr. Royson's research also shows there's a real possibility a person with a spinal cord injury may be able to use their own cells from their nose to help them heal. That means less chance of rejection and no need for anti-rejection medication. Ann Bowden, WLKY, News Channel 32.